Welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching today. We're in San Jose speaking with some of the best and brightest companies in Silicon Valley. On our program is Chris Newton, the VP of Marketing at Exactly. Uh, Chris, how are you? Great. Thanks for having us today. So your company is in the sales compensation management space, right? Yeah, that's right. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit about uh, how you play in that market and how you help companies. So Exactly was founded in 2005. We saw an opportunity really to come in and help companies that were looking for a lower cost way, a more effective way, um, with fast time to value, to help incent their teams, handle the automated payments, uh, to reduce error rates and Im improve the, you know, the time to payment, and get those sales teams aligned with what really the corporate objectives were, so that their behavior would mimic and, and follow uh, the results that people were hoping to see. Now, how are companies dealing with their compensation management today? So there's lots of different ways that people look at this. There's a traditional approach um, where people are going to want to come in and just pay on our people achieving a certain percent of, of quota. Uh, do you, but you can think a lot beyond that. So we've got customers such as Cablevision that look at, well, what's the cost to serve? If I'm going to roll out a service into a building that's prepared and what they call lit, it's far uh, more attractive and easier, lower cost for us to serve that customer. So we want to align our incentive plans to do that. Another customer, Salesforce.com, was rolling out a new services offering, um, and they wanted to have visibility within their large sales team, and so they introduced a spiff, an, an easy thing to do, but instantly sort of tripled the hit rate on that offering. And so having a flexibility to what you're doing in your system, modifying those plans to adjust to the changing business needs are a really important part of it, and thinking beyond just the traditional uh, means of incenting folks. So really, it, it sounds like the sales automation software is kind of like the introduction of the spreadsheet to the world of accounting, the computerized spreadsheet. You, you can just have the flexibility to do a lot more and, and just figure it out in a, in a more finely tuned way. And I, I guess also the challenge is now, how do you, and I know this is kind of a rambling question, I apologize, but how do you communicate that to your sales reps? Well, it's interesting. The, the spreadsheet is really our largest competition in the market. Most companies today are solving this problem with set spreadsheets. Right. Um, Gartner came out a number of years ago and said what they see in compensation systems, though, is like a 3 to 8 percent error rate on those spreadsheets. And if you've got thousands of reps in your sales organization, that really can be a, a large number running hundreds of thousands of dollars. So there's really two key uh, value propositions that people think about or you know, end up walking up to us and wanting to talk to us. It's, They've had an error, they've overpaid somebody by a, a bunch of money and they never want to have that happen again. Or they've had you know, a series of issues and it's hard to pay people on time. And so it's sort of a finance driven initiative. But the other thing people are looking at is what can they do from the sales side to improve their results. They're not seeing uh, people do the things that are appropriate with what the customer is looking for. NBC Universal is a customer that they were really looking to get better performance out of their sales team you know, after they implemented and adjusted their sales compensation plans through the automation that not only made sure that the payments were accurate but provided real-time visibility to that rep as they're deciding on a particular uh, opportunity how they were going to handle that, which options they were going to change, what they were going to add. They saw a 50% increase in victories and a 25% uh, uptick in the price point. Uh, and that's the kind of results that really drive uh, the value for this solution. So can you combine your technology with CRM somehow to even improve things more? Absolutely. So our, we have a strong partner network and some of our strongest partners are our CRM partners, uh, notably Salesforce.com and Oracle. Our solution actually will embed within those applications. So as you're a rep, if you're looking at Salesforce's opportunities page, you can see what's um, going on with a particular opportunity. As you change the attributes of that opportunity, the, you know, the price points, the products that are included, on the fly, you can see what the impact is going to be on your commissions. You can have managers that look at dashboards within the CRM solution that has um, a side by side information about you know revenues achieved, deals closed, pipeline strength, and payments to the team at various levels of the team. And, and bringing both sides of these together in that uh, way really helps a lot. Great. What's next for the company? Well, we're focused very strongly on building out uh, this solution and helping companies of all sizes sell this. The company was founded in 2005 with the Incent product that was really targeted at organizations that had 100 reps and above. Um, some of our customers have, have several thousand uh, reps. Last year, going on about you know a year now, we've got over 100 customers on our new Express product that was, that was released. And this is for organizations that have those same issues, yet they've got under 100 customers, some as low as two and five 
sales reps that are actually being paid on, on the solution. Um, that rep still needs to see what's going to happen when they're adjusting a deal and they still want to be paid quickly and accurately. But for those customers, we need to have a solution that was really going to be appropriate in terms of a couple of hours to implement. Very easy to adopt. The, the ease of use had to be there so that they wouldn't have any training requirements or other things. And we, we've done a great job, I think, in achieving that and bringing the same value that we had been offering to, to larger organizations in the past to a much broader spectrum across the market. Great. Thanks for being here today. Okay. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thanks.